Hello din Rumi's stories Sufi and his lost donkey A merchant dervish would travel for days at a time exchanging his wares in the towns and villages he traveled through he landed in a lonely town on the edge of the desert late at night after a hard journey he looked for a sufi house nearby to spend the night as was traditional for dervishes when he found the shop he immediately rushed to the stables to tend to his tired donkey who had patiently carried the items all day he made sure the horse had plenty of water and hay he tipped the young stable boy to take special care of his donkey just to be sure the other dervishes at the sufi house were primarily improv- impoverished and hungry laborers their hearts always on the point of sin they decided to take advantage of their good fortune when they discovered the newcomer had a donkey in the stables they swiftly sold the donkey to another guest who was departing that same night and used the monkey to buy food and lightings for the evening unbeknownst to the owner the man became increasingly frantic as they began to prepare their meal excited that everything was in place for a magnificent feast tonight they showed the donkeys owner a lot of respect by bowing to him repeatedly and making him feel welcome meanwhile they privately rejoiced that they would no longer have a bag for a crumb of food nor would they have to fast in the future days due to a lack of resources for his part the proprietor considered himself fortunate to be at the sufi house that evening able to partake in a delectable supper in the company of great generous sufis he had no idea what he was getting himself into the food was eventually served and everyone had a great time eating to their hearts content the men started the sama as soon as they finished their dinner the dust rose from beneath their feet combining with the cooking smoke and engulfing the burlers in a mystical fog the sufis danced and sang raising their arms to the heavens and whirling around in circles stamping their feet and prostrating on the floor washing the floor clean and their robes the musicians stepped up the beat and began singingly heartily gone is the as gone is the as as the sama gathering progressed gone is the as gone is the as the sufis screamed after the musicians arms in the air unaware that it was his donkey they were singing about the donkey's owner joined in enthusiastically and sang along with them gone is the as gone is the as the sama lasted late into the night and into the morning the men parted way one by one as the sun rose offering one other warm farewell the donkey's owner dusted off his clothes and gathered his possessions as he prepared for another day at work he ran to the stables hoping to meet up with his new found dervish buddies but he did not spot his four-legged partner he assumed the stable boy had brought the animal to the brook to give him some water perhaps he had not had enough the night before when the little kid eventually emerged the owner inquired about the whereabouts of his donkey the youngster was perplexed and informed him he had no idea what he was talking about the proprietor became enraged and snatched him by the throat threatening to kill him he cried i left my donkey in your care last night you were supposed to take care of him don't make excuses for me hurry up and bring him to me
otherwise i will report you to the authorities he said the boy admitted i was subdued by the dervishes i was terrified for my life they sold your donkey and used the proceeds to pay for last night's feast leaving a loaf of bread with a gang of hungry men is like tossing a scrawny cat to a pack of ferocious wolves he shouted attempting to think rationally about the situation shouldn't you have told me that they were stealing my donkey if they stole him from you by force if you had i could have bought him back from the buyer and gotten the money out of this wild bunch how am i going to track them down now that they have all gone their separate ways what an unforgivable wrong you have done to me he wailed I swear to God I tried to warn you multiple times but your zeal was bigger than all of their combined the stable boy retorted you sang gone is the as gone is the as even louder than the rest as a mystic with access to so many secrets i assumed you must have given them your permission the dervish concurred I was excited stimulated by their enthusiasm however it was silly of me to want to be like them imitation has ruined my life i curse it a thousand times since it has permanently ruined me